Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Katie McNeil. You've now clicked on the Weather Now link. Let's jump right into it. Look at increasing foggy conditions as we head towards the overnight. Overall, though, visibility over our city skyline still not too bad at this hour, mainly towards the pre-dawn hours. We'll start to really see that patchy fog work its way in with increasing dew points as we head towards your Sunday morning. Conditions otherwise fairly quiet across the area. Lots of clouds, though, across southern New England and a few showers to our west. Uh, southwest and north as well, but those all looking to stay away will be mainly dry through the overnight outside of potentially a couple passing showers, especially as we head towards the early morning hours on Sunday. This will kind of be accompanied with very drizzly conditions as well at times with that patchy fog. So kind of a rainy, dreary start to your Sunday. Some improvements, though, as we head towards the second half of the day with the potential for some mixed in sunshine at times throughout the afternoon. That'll lead way to an increase in overall cloudy conditions, patchy fog, and then an increased chance as well for showers and thunderstorms overnight Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday as well. So enjoy the last of the dry weather while it sticks around. Things are going to be changing over the next couple of days. The other weather headline we've been tracking over the course of the weekend is these very large waves genera generated by the offshore hurricane Ernesto. This will pass about 500 miles southeast of Newport Sunday night, Sunday evening into Sunday night. This will be when the largest of the waves are expected, although we will still continue to see large waves at times on and off throughout the day. Monday conditions are expected to start to improve, though. Tuesday and towards the middle of the end of the week, kind of just in time because conditions are looking to dry out starting on Wednesday. But in the meantime, just some tips. If you are heading down to the South Shore tomorrow on Sunday with that rough surf, it's also accompanied with dangerous rip currents. So just check in with your lifeguards at local beaches. Make sure it's safe to swim wherever you're planning on going in the water and also stay off those rocks and jetties where those large waves are crashing into. You can get swept right off of those. Conditions can become very dangerous very quickly. So with that, your overall forecast, though, your Sunday morning could see a brief passing shower, but otherwise it'll kind of just be drizzly to start with that patchy fog, leading way to more cloudy and humid conditions towards late morning to around midday. The good news is afternoon conditions do improve a little bit with a mix of some sun and clouds at times. Any sunshine we do see will be a little bit on the hazier side still due to that wildfire smoke coming down from Canada. We'll see afternoon highs again approaching the, uh, the upper 70s, kind of similar to what we've seen the past couple days. But the difference is it will be a bit more humid, especially uh, towards the second half of the day, Sunday, and then into Monday as well. And as always, you can get your full forecast anytime at WPRI.com.